come with them down below. I am like in desperate need of your guys' opinions. Good morning, guys. I feel like I'm always starting my vlog out in this at this desk, but I guess it makes sense because like. I have to get ready, you know what I'm saying? And I just prefer to like chat with you guys when I'm getting ready and tell you what I'm doing in the day. Today is Friday and normally Fridays I get to kind of like chill and stuff like that. I don't have to worry about like waking up early because I don't have any classes. But today I have a doctor's appointment to go to in Manhattan and I'm going with my mom. So I had to wake up earlier because the appointment is like she made it for the morning but like she has an appointment and then i have an appointment but i decided that i would go with her to her appointment because if she left me alone here at this house i would have been late to my appointment so you know i just figured okay let me just get my ass up and go to hers that way i won't be late to mine and then yeah so i have my doctor's appointment and then i want to return the stuff from Zara that I got in the last vlog that didn't fit me and see if I can exchange it. Hopefully they have it in store. I checked online and they said that they have it in store on Monday. So hopefully they didn't like sell out or like get rid of it or anything. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see that. And then we have to come back home because I have a interview with a magazine today which is pretty exciting. I've never done something like that before. I've never done an interview where people just want to like interview me to hear what I have to say. So that's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, that is the plan for today. Hopefully I have enough time. We have to leave at 9.30. Ooh, we have to leave in 30 minutes, which is fine. Okay, because I finished, basically finished my hair. She just set my edges down. And then hopefully I could like just throw a French toast in the mic in the in the um, toaster and then just eat that. Also, guys, my wig that I also talked about in my last vlog came today. Well, I didn't tell you guys that I had ordered it, but I ordered it like r I think right after I filmed that video and like talked about that. And I ordered it, and it it actually came like, pretty fast. I was really worried that it wasn't gonna come fast, but it came pretty fast. So yeah, it's here. It's like sitting right next to me on the floor. It's daunting. Like you know, I'm like oof. I'm definitely gonna you know film me trying to like install it and stuff. The only thing is that I have to decide what day I'm gonna do that. I need to pick a day. And also see if somebody can do my cornrows because I want to really get my hair like braided down. That way it's like nice and flat. That way there's no excuses for me like to mess this up, you know. Because before I would kind of like do my own braids and they would be kind of bulky. So the wig wouldn't really like lay that flat. So I definitely want to actually get like neat, very like flat cornrows. I don't know what day I would do that because the 20th I'm going to DC. So I wanted it probably like i probably need my cornrows by like either the 18th or the 19th i don't know it's gonna be tough with like school and stuff and i also don't know who's gonna do it if i have to go to a salon or maybe i could see if a friend could do it and then i also need to decide if i'm putting the skunk stripe in it i think i really want to just because i really love my skunk stripe i need to order like materials to do that like i think i need to order like a mannequin head all this stuff just because you know i've never really bought all the you know materials that people tend to use and i want to make sure that i'm not skipping on any steps to make this as good as possible all right let me finish this and then we're probably gonna skedaddle we gotta take the train to uptown and i don't like uptown you know new yorkers say that gen zers do not go above 14th street ah in Manhattan and I I fit into that category I don't know the last time that I've gone above 14th Street I don't even go above like like West 4th like I don't even know I heavily avoid uptown but it's also because like you know I feel like a lot of younger people are downtown like a lot of younger people hang out in Soho hang out in Washington Square Park so it's kind of like you know like that's where my that's where my folks are like that's where I feel comforted by fellow peers fellow college students because it's basically like Downtown is basically like NYU's playground, you know? So you'll run into a bunch of college students, some FIT students, stuff like that. I feel like once I go uptown, I'm just walking past a bunch of 50-year-old finance men that are going to um, tell me about investing in cryptocurrency. And, you know, 
just not my vibe. But there is this one dumpling place that I love. It's my favorite dumpling place ever. But it's uptown, so I never go to it. And it sucks, because I really like it. And if it was downtown, first of all, it would be so, so, so popular. Which it already is popular, but I feel like it would just be, like, crazy popular. Like, always packed if it was downtown, like, right next to the park. But yeah, I also never go to it because the train station that it's located at is so sketchy. Like, the train that I have to get off, I'm always running from my life from people there. So, it kind of, like, taints my experience. But like sometimes the food is worth it because it's so good. The place is called Awesome Dim Sum. You guys have seen me go there a few times. But yeah, I just hate going there alone. And most of the time I do things alone so it doesn't end up working out. Also guys, I had this thing with my earrings, my second piercings, where my starter stud fell out. Like one of them fell out and I didn't know when it fell out. But all I found, which is so crazy that I found this part of it, I found the ball to screw it back in but i couldn't find the actual earring part yeah so i had to figure it out because you know you're not supposed to go 24 hours without having something in your ear for like at least six months or else it's gonna close up so i was kind of like troubleshooting and i put this one earring in my ear in this ear and honestly i don't think it was vibing like i don't think that that's what i would i don't think that was the right choice um it wasn't vibing this ear i switched this this starter piercing that was in this ear into my left ear just because I feel like that one really needs to like be safe and heal because I swear like I do not want infections I don't want keloids I don't want any of that I don't want any of that like no 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 no. I found this kind of like I think this is real gold because I think the issue was I put something like fake in my ear while it's healing which I think was bad so yeah it definitely feels better now that the um starter earring is back in it and then I put this real gold thing in it this is like weird because it's like this big shape thing and now they don't match, but whatever. They said I was supposed to go back in six weeks to like check on everything. I definitely want to do that just to like make sure. Like I just want to be extra safe that nothing's getting infected. My nose piercing feels so fine now. Like no pain, nothing. I still spray it with saline here and then and now and then, but honestly like, like my nose piercing feels great. Like I forget it's there. It's my ear piercings more so that, like, I kind of remember. And I feel like my ears are a little bit more sensitive. I got dressed and I'm warming up my French toast. But I didn't mention what doctor I'm going to see. I'm going to see a dermatologist because I have these, like, white splotches. Can you see? Or do I have to go in the light? Like, can you see it? But I have these white splotches on my neck and... I can't really figure out what it was. I went to my regular doctor just for like a regular checkup and I showed it to her and she said like, I was questioning if it was like a type of vitiligo or something since it's like turning white. But honestly, I don't think it looked like the shapes of it don't really like look like that. And I don't think it's spreading the same way. So I don't know, but it's definitely spread. Like it started out as just like a little splotch and it's like spread across this whole thing. I'm going to a dermatologist to see if they know what it is. Finished with my mom's appointment, so now we're walking to mine because they're pretty close. And I think it's at wait, what time is it? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So we're not late. So. <laughs> I'm waiting for the doctor doctor to come in and tell me what's going on no idea no idea no idea and then we gotta go to Soho doctor's appointment and I'm waiting for my mom in the bathroom but basically what he said is that he thinks most likely it's vitiligo that's like his thoughts um, my pediatrician before told me like it might be a fungus and I asked him about that and he was like 
no, like, he doesn't really think it would be a fungus ace because then I would feel it. And then the thing is, I've never felt it. Like, it doesn't itch. It doesn't hurt. Like, I only found out it was there when my mom was like, what's that? Did you burn yourself? Like, so, like, I would have never known it was there until it got bigger or until somebody, like, pointed it out. Which, like, everybody started pointing out, like, what's on your neck. So, yeah. He thinks it might be vitiligo. And he prescribed me a cream. But, like, the thing about vit vitiligo is, like, it's not really, like, curable, I guess. It's, like... I don't know, I guess you either take the cream and it goes away or you take the cream and it doesn't go away or it like stops spreading or it does spread, so I don't know. I'm gonna take the cream. I have to take it for two weeks consistently and then probably like come back, follow up. He did like this purple light thing because I guess if you look at it in like the purple light, like it's supposed to be like bright white if it's like vitiligo. But then he was saying that um, like maybe because it's like newer, that is not showing up so i don't know it's just like really hard to like diagnose it i guess and there's like a lot of stuff that they have to do let me use it real quick i could take the key back right because you were done with inside oh uh, yeah 75 percent diagnosed with vitiligo but like the other percent kind of nobody really knows i guess we'll figure it out when i get the cream and if it keeps spreading but i noticed i got like do you see this dot like this dot is new i got this a few weeks ago um, so that wasn't always there. So it's definitely like already spreading, but I don't know. He could say, he said that like it could stay in your neck area and like it could just stay there forever or it could spread or it could not spread. Everything's up in the air. So I'm going to pee and get out of here. <laughs> I think it's sick. The stop is like that. Um... so loud but we ended up back in Zara it literally sounds like a club in here but I was supposed to return the stuff and I forgot to bring it but we still ended up with a pile of clothes my mom literally has a giant pile of clothes and we're trying on because Zara is a trap the stuff they have is really cute like really cute stuff so I'm trying on again expecting them to be a lot baggier on the bottom but they're not so I'm just not doing that but I picked up this black jacket and I don't know I don't know how I feel about it I'm definitely gonna get this hoodie because I love the fit of it it's like so baggy it's giving like essentials slash Yeezy Gap vibes I feel like and then it has like this unique thing where the hood is like a windbreaker material which is kind of cool and it's super warm this is the bag but yeah pretty subtle and i feel i've been like gravitating towards more simple type of like hoodies so i feel like it looks a little bit more like the tour i guess i don't know but yeah even like with this gray my mom has done more damage than i have <laughs> i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like sin, not no Creflo dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake friends gon' pile up. I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow. Somehow all the fans go bravo, smile so much to hide my sorrow. Stay this shaky in Verado. I can't hold a frown too long. I can't stay down too long. I can stay down too long. Running from pain, running from strain. Couple things I show, couple things I don't. I can tell you my problems, I can tell you my sins, I can tell you my problems. I'm uncomfortable with my skin, I'm uncomfortable with my ends, I'm uncomfortable with my friends, I'm uncomfortable with my drinking, I'm uncomfortable with my thinking. Alrighty, besties, my interview is in like. I can never, I'm never good with like math and time, but my interview is at 5.15, but I'm going to have a call with my management at 5, 
But yeah, this interview is with Boss Magazine, which I believe is a black women's magazine. Oh, I'm almost out of memory. One second. I deleted some stuff. Hopefully that's enough. But yeah, so it's an interview with a black women's magazine. Yeah, they're basically just asking me about like content cre content creation and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just fix my bun because I was trying so much stuff on in Zara that it got messed up. What the fork? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bad choice. Bad choice. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm not like too nervous just because like I got to look over the question. So I feel pretty like confident with like the answers that I'm going to give. And at the end of the day, like it's not like it's a science. It's not like it's a science test, you know, like they're not trying to like test me or anything. So I shouldn't be like scared. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. And of course, I'll let you guys know when it's out. I'll probably like tell you in a vlog when it's out and then um, either put I'll probably post it on my Instagram. So if you want to go follow me on Instagram to see like exactly when it's posted, then it's linked down below. About my whole vitiligo situation, I mean, I explained it at the doctor's office. I feel like there's not really that much else to like explain. Um, but yeah, like I'm pretty sure it's vitiligo. Like I, my pediatrician thought it was a fungus, but then the doctor was like, I don't know why she would think that. It doesn't make any sense because a fungus would be like scaly or itchy and I've had none of those symptoms. So, yeah, he's pretty positive that it's vitiligo. And honestly, I'll insert the picture here of how it was in July to how it is now in October. It has drastically spread, like drastically, and it's moving into my hairline. So, yeah, that's leading me to believe that it really is just like vitiligo. But he was basically saying that it's a very unpredictable thing. He won't be able to tell whether it'll spread or whether it'll stay on my neck or whether it'll recede or whether it'll keep growing like he's not able to tell whether or not the medication is going to work or not there's no way of actually being able to predict it because it's incurable i guess like there's no cure for it i'm not worried and i'm not upset because i was saying to my mom like at the end of the day like the worst case scenario going into that doctor's office didn't happen like my worst case scenario going into it was that something actually like clinical and like terminal was gonna happen of course that's like any worst case scenario going into a doctor's office so coming out of there with anything that's not terminal to me is a win and you know vitiligo i know a lot of people have it and you know they have it like in different ways like some people just have it so small that nobody ever knows and stuff like that but at the end of the day it's still just like cosmetic like it doesn't cause pain you know like it's not a terminal illness so i'm just seeing the gratitude in that that like i came out of it with just you know, this like cosmetic thing. And I was like, why are you so calm? And I was like, I don't know. Like, it just doesn't seem like something that I feel like I need to get like overly, you know, upset about because at the end of the day, it is what it is. And they said it's not curable. So like, I can't, I can't think of the bad. I just have to be grateful that it's not something that is going to like impact my health. Like I'm still healthy. I just have some lack of pigmentation, but yeah. And you know, I was, cause I was also talking with my dad and he was like, um, cause I think Michael Jackson had vitiligo and stuff like that, but I don't know what his situation was cause he turned like completely white, but I don't know if he did some extra stuff to kind of like even everything out. I don't know. Yeah. Like I guess like back, you know, when he had it, it was kind of more of like a stigma around it where like people didn't necessarily understand it. But now we have like Winnie Harlow, who's like one of the top earning models. And it's like, you know, she makes it work. You know, people just have, people have I guess not flaws, but people have things that are unique about them. But I gotta get my cream. I think I'm gonna go driving with my mom after I finish this interview to get the cream. And then and then I have to start using that. I have to use the steroid cream for two weeks. Um, and that's pretty strong. I'm, I am nervous about the cream. And he said that there's like so many treatments that he said like you could do. None of them are guaranteed to do anything. Um, like he said, there's like light treatments and stuff like that. I'm like, that just sounds like a lot of money a lot of time and a lot of effort for like you know just something on my skin yeah i'm gonna try out the cream see what happens at the end of the day we move at the end of the day we keep pushing and at the end of the day life goes on hello besties i don't know why i said hello to you all i'm walking away from you but we're getting dressed we're in a rush i spent way too long doing my makeup and my hair i'm putting on this workout outfit because right now no 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 i need to because i actually need to change i'm going into manhattan because i'm going to lauren geraldo's hawker walk 
If you don't know who Lauren Geraldo is, she's a YouTuber. I really like her videos. Like, she's a really entertaining YouTuber. She is also the creator of 12 3 30, like the workout that I do, you know, when you walk on the treadmill. Like, she kind of like pioneered this whole hot girl walking thing. So, yeah, she's hosting a hot girl walk in New York, in Manhattan. Like, I think on the pier. I'm meeting Raina there. So, yeah, it's just supposed to be like an event. I guess a bunch of people are gonna show up and we're gonna walk and yeah but it's 60 degrees so it's not like too cold and i learned my lesson from yesterday because yesterday i was way too bundled up i was overheating i was sweating so we're gonna wear less today but not too too less actually i'm trying to decide should i do my long sleeve is that even i think that might even be cuter i think i might do this yeah i think this is definitely more the vibe this is definitely gonna keep me super hot. I don't have like matching workout sets that are actually cute, so this is gonna have to do. Let me finish getting ready, um, like I always am, and then, cause I still have to eat breakfast or something. Maybe I'll just put something in a toaster and then take it on the train. <laughs> I'm currently walking to the hot girl walk. I had to walk like 15 blocks because the Q train is running on a B train line today. So it didn't stop close enough to where I wanted it to stop. So I had to get off at West 4th and I'm walking. I've been walking for like 10 minutes and I think I have like 10 minutes left. But I'm a little bit late, but hopefully like I don't get left. Um, I'm getting in like an extra walk before the walk. I don't know. And I think I have to pee. or a video i got like clips of her but i get nervy but reyna got like the she she was in there she was in there and she's gonna post this vlog i'm gonna post this and vlog. and now me saying it on the vlog and i'm gonna put the link in the bio <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so go watch the clip on her vlog because she literally like yeah. she had a Guys, whole combo Lauren gave me this so, whole little pep talk oh, moment combo. that i needed thank you very much i needed that for my soul my spirit yeah my soul my spirit i don't know why i get so like i you just can't i do get it so nervous yeah. Take your camera, take your camera. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I can't. Yeah. Alrighty, I'm back in Brooklyn and I'm in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna go get brunch real quick because I'm hungry. She's hungry. So yeah, I'm driving now. I drive places now, guys. I drive places. My mom has to be in the car or anybody with like a license because that's how the permit works. Like somebody with a license has to be in the car. But. She says I've been getting good, so we'll oh, see. Good. I've been having this issue where did I'm you, like, did you move it? What? The I moved since it. A I got it? Yeah, I moved it. Since you got it. Okay. I mean, we're like the same height, so I guess I shouldn't have to move yeah, it. Yeah, you shouldn't have to move it. 
I don't even have to fix them. Like, we're literally, like, the same. Because I had to move it and then change the mirror when I got in because it was, like, too far up. And then... I think it also is the shoes that I was wearing. Where? I wore my Uggs, and I guess I just oh, couldn't yeah, feel. No. Like, I guess when you can't really, like, because the Uggs have, like, the cushiness, so you yeah. can't really feel. Am I turning? No, you're going straight. Uh, oh, like, you turn. Make a right. Because we're going straight there to the place, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think because of the cushiness of the Uggs, like, it's hard to, like, really, like, feel the pressure of my foot. Oh, okay. Like, because in these shoes right now, and we'll I'm continuing straight. straight. Yeah, because... In these shoes right now, because they're like running shoes, I can feel the pressure just fine. Okay. So remember that for the test. Don't wear Uggs. I thought you meant like today you wore Uggs to go walking. Uh-uh. Because like, that's, cool. that's a lot of miles you did. Like I'll it show was, you. It was, they said no, because we didn't, it was almost three. Okay. That's still Almost decent. three miles. Like, yeah. Like you go, you'll look at how many steps but you did. We walked very, uh -huh. very slow. We had to walk slow because it was such a big group of people and the pier is small. small right? So everybody's kind of like walking on top of each other. So it wasn't like a speed walk thing. Right, yeah. But it was more so to like have people like mingle. Oh my God. So my, I wonder, okay, when if the runners were done by time? Because you got, what time did you guys start? 10 30. Oh no, hopefully. Uh, there was there was a lot of runners hopefully running past my group would have left by then because we went back. And so right slow here? Down. Yeah, but you see this car coming because there, yeah. there is oncoming traffic. <laughs> you. I mean, like, you signaled. You slowed down. Like, why is he blowing? People I just don't, don't have like, patience. And, not even, like, and like, really blowing. He just like, wanted me to, like, whip. Come car. on, dude. Well, now you're doing the same thing I'm that not, that but guy I'm just not blowing, did. blowing, but he, that's different. This is like, I don't even know what he's doing. He's talking to the police while he's in the middle of the street. That's very different. I had to take, am I going straight? Yeah. I, shut up. So, see, look, look at me. You have to tell yourself, shut up. Because, like, you know they're just being annoying. Like, they just. Yeah, like, it literally just turned green. Yeah. Unless you have a premonition that I don't know about. Yeah, but. yeah. Exactly. We made it to the brunch spot. And I did a little parallel park moment. Look, guys, look, guys. That's the other car. And then the other car. And then this is. And then, and then, look at that. Look at that. Is it too. It looks a little far, but. No, no it's, it's good. Perfect. It's good. Yeah. yeah. I did a great job and there was a car behind me and a it's a van, small street a, a van, van a van and I normally get like kind of nervous with that because like I don't like I don't know like I don't like when people rush me and I don't like you know inconveniencing other people but I did it fast and like I didn't have to like retry it so we're a driver a driver <laughs> automatic vacuum that like moves on its own and we're like this is our first time testing it out and Lucy is like I don't know if she likes it or she I think she's a little scared of it it's coming right at look, Lucy oh, she's not running it's literally just she's maybe he'll get all of that is he gonna get all of that oh my god good job buddy this is like the new pet. Does he go back to his docking station yes, when he's talking? Automatically. Yes. Really? Yes. What? I have to see that. I have to see that. Yeah, but I guess he won't do it unless he's tired, so I have to wait for him to get tired. Bro, this is like a whole new animal. If you're looking for a pet, guys, just get an automatic vacuum. <laughs> <laughs>
not gonna lie my anxiety is going through the roof right now my heart is like but then at the same time it's not but like it feels like it's going but then when i feel my heart it's not i don't know why well i do know why i think it's just like a lot piled up today like mentally and then to top it all off for my forensics class we have to do a group project which a group project in itself anxiety because like relying on other people for an assignment anxiety and then on top of that it has to be a true crime serial killer project and if there's nothing that makes me more depressed and anxious than goddamn serial killers and I have to pick one to study in depth and then present it. And my group members just like sent a list of some of the ones they're thinking about. And I literally Googled one of them and looked at their picture and almost cried. Cause it looked like a literal monster. Like I don't want to do this so bad, but I signed up for the class and I have to get through it. I hate serial killers. Like, I don't know. I know the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix show just came out. I tried to watch like an ep, like, like I think I got to like three episodes. It just makes me like sick to my stomach. Like I'm just like nauseated anytime I watch like true crime or anything. Like I know people like fall asleep to it and they listen to like true crime podcasts about murders and they can just like ingest, they just love true crime. It literally makes me sick to my stomach. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. There's nothing that I hate more than like documentaries and stuff like that based on a true, like I don't like horror movies in general, but if it's a horror movie that's like completely like absolutely could not be real like like well i was about to say aliens but we don't i don't know but like you know like some werewolves or something you know something that could i hate when they start off the the horror film like based on a true story why would you tell me that why would you tell me that this could have happened to me i'm watching something that could have happened to me that happened to other people that i could have known i it just makes me very uncomfortable so i think that just really set off my brain movements today <laughs> and I want to cry but I'm not gonna cry um yeah and uh, I just really don't want to do this assignment but I'm gonna have to push through it because I don't want to fail my forensics class oh why serial killers I feel like there should be a trigger warning for that like I'm gonna give you a group project on serial killers I feel like there should be a trigger warning like if you want to pick something else like puppies you could do like that was piling up and I, I don't know. I think it was really just that that like took me over the edge because I came home from the school and I was kind of just like chilling mentally. And then I had to read about those. I... And did you notice? I was also like, because the, the ones that my group members suggested, they were like men. And there's something about male serial killers that really just make me sick. Like sick. Not like all types of murderers make me sick, but there's something about male serial killers and having to like study male serial that just make me sick because I feel like men just get so much more monstrous so I tried you know suggesting some women because you know it's still murderous and it's still sickening and I'm like why I don't want to be researching about how these people like murdered like 20 different people but it's still just like a level of a little bit more comfort researching a woman so we'll see if they go with my suggestions if not i'm gonna be having to study murderous men for the next few months <laughs> to help with my anxiety because i'm also i think i'm just feeling like stressed because like a lot of stuff is like piling up like work stuff and then school stuff and then life stuff because i'm going to dc on thursday and it's not really like the act of going to DC that's like making me like feel flustered, but it's like the stuff I have to do before I go and prepare to go. I'm gonna be like cleaning my room later, but let me show you the stuff that I unboxed. I did like a big Amazon purchase, um, but let me show you the first thing that is an Amazon. I got this beanie. Um, it's really cute. I mean, I have to see how it looks on, but it seems real cute, you know, just black and yellow. I got it from this small business on Instagram. I found it originally on TikTok and then I followed their Instagram and then I just impulsively bought it. It was pretty affordable for, you know, the beanie world right now. Beanies right now are like $100 and I'm like, whoa, whoa, I just want to fashionably keep my head warm, you know, not buy a bag, like not buy like a whole designer purse. 
Um, so this one, I think it was like 30 or $45 or something like that. And yeah, it was like a really, really small business. So like I'll tag them or I'll link it below. Go support. It did take like a little while to ship, but I think the person is in college. So I have empathy because for you to be running a business and be in college, props to you, man. Props to you. So I'm excited to try that on. And then I got a bunch of stuff for my wig. I didn't even tell you guys. Did I tell you guys? I think in the lasty last vlog or sometime in the vlog. I don't know. My vlogs are getting mixed together because I'm just like nonstop filming. I feel like I already had this conversation with you guys. I'm sorry if I did. But yeah, my wig. Oh, I did at the beginning of this vlog. I'm an idiot, right? I don't know. But it's here. It's all like... I wasn't gonna, I was gonna do an unboxing, but then I was like, no, nobody really cares about me taking it out of the box. They wanna see it. Here it is. Here's the wiggy wig. Um, I got it from this brand called Hair VV. It's just like black. But the thing about this brand, because I did a lot of research about like different wig companies to see where I wanted to get my wig from. And this brand says they, they did, their wigs are pre plucked and then the knots come pre bleached and some other things basically like they do all of the intense like installing things for you like bleaching the knots i bleached i tried bleaching my knots one time for like my last like closure wig the amount i was just sucking in fumes i was like probably getting delirious i was like i, 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 I it was it wasn't for me and i think i did it wrong because i think i was afraid of like burning the wig so i didn't even leave it on for long enough i don't know so this one comes pre-bleached and pre-plucked. Like plucked. like the hairline is already plucked and stuff. I don't know. You probably can't even see it like that. It looks like a walrus. So from Amazon, I have to get like the materials to do exactly what I want to do with it. Let's go over the making process. So I finally got myself a bobblehead. Like this like big old wig stand. First of all, this thing is heavy, but I guess that's that's good that it's heavy. But yeah, I've never had a wig stand before, um, but I've always seen all of the girlies with immaculate frontals. You know, they, they do all the necessary things on the wig stand before they put it on their head, which honestly makes sense. So I got everything from Amazon. I'll link it down below or in my Amazon storefront. It comes with a bunch of this stuff. I guess it comes with a stand too to prop it up. I don't know. I don't know. They put a lot of stuff, and I think these are like pins. I don't want to lose this though. They put string. I don't know what the string is for. I don't know. I just wanted the head. And the reason that I wanted the head was because after school, I made my way to the beauty supply store. This looks weird with this big head in my, yeah. I made my way to the beauty supply store to get red hair dye because I'm going to attempt to put my skunk stripe in the wig. And that's where I'm like, hmm. Feel like we may be like in a crunch for time because today's Monday. So I have Tuesday, Wednesday to kind of figure this whole hair situation out. And you know, as a beginner, I feel like I need as much time as I can. So yeah, I basically wanna dye the wig tonight, let it sit, do the whole shampoo conditioner thing. And then tomorrow after school, I wanna try to like, I wanna try to like work on installing it. I have to, oh, see <laughs> the anxiety. I have to wash my hair and straighten my hair because I was gonna have somebody else cornrow my hair, but everybody that I knew that could cornrow my hair is busy and can't do it. So I'm gonna have to try to do it myself. And you know, I'm a good braider, like box braider, but um, cornrowing my own head is a feat. It's a feat. So it'll be a lot easier to get my braids really flat on straight hair. So I have to do that. This is really adding up, guys. This is sounding like a lot. And my brain is hurting. I'm gonna be using the same method that I did for my own hair, um, except I'm not using the Kiss semi-permanent hair dye because I low-key felt like that kind of tried to like damage my hair. Like after I put the semi-permanent hair dye in, my hair felt so weird. So I think I'm gonna avoid that one and just do these two colors. And then I got a wig cap and then I got this neutralizing shampoo because I also realized the last time I straightened, the last time I um, dyed my hair, I didn't use neutralizing shampoo. It wasn't until a few days ago that I realized what neutralizing shampoo actually does, that it like stops the process of like, the bleach or like if you're perming your hair, the, like it stops the processing. So I was like, 
So like, how long was the, how long was it processing in my, you know? Anyways, I got some neutralizing shampoo. And then I also got some press on nails because I ordered some on Amazon, but they said they're going to arrive Thursday, but I leave on Thursday. So I don't know if the timelines are going to align. So I just got some just in case because um, I don't want to look nubby. I also got these razors because this is supposed to be like for cutting the lace. I don't know. I watched like 30 videos, guys. I watched 30 videos on people installing wigs, glueless, melts, like I washed them all. So they highly suggested some razors. And then I bought myself a hot comb. My bill for Amazon was like $80. Like I did a lot, but I feel like this, you know, I, I don't own a hot comb. So I feel like this is something like, you know, once you own, it'll last a while. But I think this is essential. And I, I'll see when I like try to put this together. But I feel like this is essential. And I feel like this is a part of the wig process that I never had. And it's probably why I looked so chooky before you know i feel like i have very high hopes for this next for this session i also got this um elastic band thing for your to lay your edges down and this thing called a wax stick um yeah i really just read the description box of a, another girl's video and bought everything that she suggested this is the craziness that we're working with but yeah right now i'm going to clean up my goddamn room because I'm literally going to start bawling my eyes out from the amount of anxiety that I am exerting in this room right now. And then after I'm mentally stable, I... What will I do? Do I have homework today? Ah, I don't know. What am I going to do? What am I going to do first? I guess I'll just go straight into dying it? It was really the serial killer thing, bro. That really just ruined my day. I hated that. Uh, 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 it ruined my day. It ruined my day. Now I need to watch My Little Pony. I need to watch some Gilmore. I need to watch something happy. Something happy, bro. I should have read so many articles about so many dead people. Like, I don't want that in my life. I'm not a forensic scientist for a reason. I don't like dead people. <sighs> I'm back. For you, I went nowhere. For you, it's been like a millisecond, but I went to the pharmacy to pick up my prescription for my uh, neck stuff. I think I told you that the doctor prescribed me some like steroids and stuff like that, so so I picked that up, and then we got some pizza. Um, I haven't eaten it yet because I'm still a little nauseated, but I'm going to get to clean this room. It's just like a bunch of clutter, and I need to organize some stuff. I got some like PR and, you know, this laundry it's piling up but i'm gonna throw on some gilmore girls i haven't watched it for this season yet and every fall i tend to gravitate towards watching gilmore girls and i haven't done it yet but i feel like this is the perfect moment because it's my favorite show in the entire world because it's so comforting like it always just makes me feel so comfortable and i need that right now that my soul has been tainted my soul has been tainted and i'm also gonna um i've been sipping on this kombucha guys I've kind of been on this like little new kombucha wave. I don't want to get too like addicted to it because like I have this thing about soda. I used to like really, really, really like Coca-Cola. I used to have like three a day. Like that's how obsessed I was with Coca-Cola. And then I realized it was like breaking me out because of how much sugar is in it. So like I slowly weaned myself off of it, but it was a process. And now I only drink water, milk, and bubble tea. Those are like my main liquid groups but i started adding in kombucha because it's like kind of like a healthier fizzy carbonated drink the only one i try is um gts synergy bro if you are trying to like find a healthier alternative to soda i highly suggest kombucha and i highly suggest this brand their synergy raw kombucha line it tastes it tastes like 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 a soda but it has apple turmeric carrot and spices like it's kind of like a healthier version it still has some sugars in it so like i try not to get it too much like it has 16 grams of sugar but that's still a lot better than drinking a coca-cola and i think it has a lot more benefits because it has a lot more like natural ingredients and stuff like that it, it is more expensive than a soda but like you know if you're trying to get yourself off of the whole soda wave and you can like slowly like maybe like try one a week or something but yeah i've been drinking this the whole day and i thoroughly enjoy sounds familiar <clears throat> yeah mm. 
Used to run through the money, now I'm too old Man, I'm just playing, shot when I land Promoter paid for six flights, got the team right I just told Mr. Ben, came in for the bands Beachside Villa for aesthetic just because And I don't even like the sand Stan Smith, sneakers on the beach, that's the water I just came in for the tan This was always planned, you wouldn't understand I could turn a Chevy to a Cullinan I could turn a Rugs to an AP I came from Sorry Sir to come again No new friends, I couldn't catch a win until I cut off the loose ends Used to whip the under in the trunk, get at two tens Just like that too Out the speakers was Max B Couldn't say a thing about the way if you asked me Never caught the chain, I was always trying to gain green Riding around with my sexy love in the passenger seat huh? Tell them why you mad for Give me a reason not to change on you once I give me a minute. I got checks in Hamburg, I might fly out this evening. I got checks in Moscow, I'll be back in a week. If it wasn't for COVID, I'd be in Europe touring. Counting cash on the couch is getting kind of boring. Must be talking about kids when you talk driving foreign. Say I'm lying and I'm telling stories, or you can't. Tell them why you mad for. Till my jaw's broken for records in the hour I'm not bragging, it's all boasted Turn the top ten and ball for ball and it's all coasted And it's easy for me Just tell me go and I'm on go, it's no reason for me Doing features for a feature that's reaching for me My next show's a match store, they been sleeping on me See they took my style, see they been peeking on me That's why I'm mad for Sorted the monstrosity of my clothes. I'm probably gonna do black first and then gray and then beige and then literally guys this pile of colors has been the same pile of colors probably since August and that's because wait I haven't worn color since it turned like 70 degrees. I don't know I've just been gravitating towards more like neutral gray browns so I always start with blacks because I wear black like almost every day and then gray and then beige like I said. I'm now going to tackle this thing. I put it on the mannequin head. You can kind of see what I was talking about before. Again, this wig is from Hair VB. So they said that they bleached the knots, which, you know, I have not that much experience to compare it to, but it looks like compared to the last closure I received, this definitely looks like drastically different. You can see it has kind of, what is this called? Like a widow's peak or something. I don't know. I might need to do like a little bit extra, but they cut layers into it also. I think it's like 18 inches. I spent a lot of money on her. Uh, what are we going to name her? Tabitha. Her name is Tabitha. Tabitha was a bag. <laughs> Tabitha was a bag. I could have bought a pair of Yeezy sneakers for the amount that I bought Tabitha, but I feel like she is an investment because hopefully I can wear her for a long time. I mean, I don't know. Honestly, guys, Please tell me the honest to God truth because whenever I see YouTubers and like influencers and stuff with wigs, like it seems like they wear them for two days and then take them off. And I'm like, this cannot be everybody's experience because I paid, am I going to tell you guys how, well, I mean, you can see it on the website. I paid more than $300 on this wig. Babes, I'm not going to only wear this for two days. I'm not going to only wear this for a week. Like, I will whip, I will wear this to the grave. This is an investment. I'm wearing this to the grave. I'm handing this down to my children and my grandchildren. My grandchildren will be wearing Tabitha. I will be handing it over to them the same way my grandmother handed me her diamonds. I will be handing them Tabitha. And I'll be like, here you go. Boy, girl, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, so I don't get that. Like, maybe it's just because, like, a lot of influencers, like, get wigs sent to them. So, like, they're not actually, like, paying for it. So, they kind of just switch it out. But, like, the everyday folk, how long do you keep your wig on for? So, yeah, we're going to kind of get into it. I watched a bunch of videos on specifically putting a skunk stripe in a wig. Yeah, it seemed pretty simple. It's basically just, like, doing it on your own hair, but it's not on your own hair. Like, doing the same steps and stuff. And I'm not going to bleach it like I 
because I didn't have to bleach my own hair so if it's virgin hair it should hopefully do the same effects that it did on my hair. I think I have my developer. Excuse me, Tabitha. I'm sorry. The only thing, I just gotta make sure I get it on the left side and then I get it correct placement. But it should be easy because I'm like not doing it on my own head. Let me find my developer and then get started. This should be quick and simple. Can you plan it? She does a fabulous idea. So she offered us the job and I just took it. <laughs> All right, all right. She wanted to yeah. do it on your intention. Okay, right? okay, and I thought okay. Was so uh -huh. That was like that, you know? Bring around the rosy, pockets full like OD. I can move just how I move, cause don't nobody know me. Low key, still do more numbers than your fate. You can hate, but you can't say that I've been missing any place. Any fool, what it do? Moving quick, bust it moves. Steps ahead, cause I'm not working. Why you trying to catch a snooze? Keep it smooth. Not concerned with other dudes or what they do. Keep it true, I kick the truth. I'm not here so I can lose. Yeah. How'd you like it back to the bank? Tell her on us. Put in overtime so I do what I wanna. Stay humble, hit me for a feature, don't you come with no petty numbers Talking about some leverage, but you been had plenty from us Fed you for the low, so I could dub when the any coming You can't take a penny from us Full court press, Bobby Knight with my attitude You wouldn't understand, so I can't be mad at you You ever had to roll coins to get to the next week? Working for the 10, had to rush to the 10 and so What you know about that? And that made me a better man now it's backstage business to shake your hands I don't do this for Instagram This is real life for real My real life for real For real So I do what I Yeah Alright, alright Yeah Okay, okay currently Wednesday and I'm doing my cornrows so basically last night I did my cornrows and I did them all like neat and nice and I was like "Ooh, this is nice but then my mom looked at them and they were, and she was like those aren't flat and I was like what do you mean they're cornrows like you know they're neat she's like no they're not flat and then she was like you have to cornrow them under not over and I didn't realize that I braid my hair over I guess because I'm so used to doing French braids or like Dutch braids or stuff like that I didn't realize that I had to corner my hair under and I thought that I didn't know how to do that because I've never done that like I've never been like oh let me corner it under so I was just going to leave my hair out underneath my wig and slick it down but then I realized that's way harder than me just figuring out how to braid my hair because me and slicking down my hair, I mean, you guys have seen the trials and tribulations. It's not cute. Like, it's not a good vibe. And I realized I literally just, instead of taking the last strand over, I just take it under. And then I got this one, nice and flat. I mean, it's still, like, pretty thick. But I think it's pretty good. I was, like, borderline tears last night. <sighs> I don't know what it is about wigs. I guess it's just because, like, braids, I can figure out. Like, doing my own box braids, goddess braids, all that stuff I can figure out because I'm already, like, a good braider. Like, wigs, like, I'm not a good, I don't know, installer. So, like, doing all this stuff, like, cutting the lace, do, like, it's, I'm not good at it. So, learning it, like, alone, just from, like, YouTube videos is kind of tough I think I did a moderately good job the main thing that I was doing and I'll show you I'll show you it one second was dyeing it because the red didn't come as bright as I wanted it and I also put it on both sides as you can see like it still doesn't even really show up that much like it wasn't coming as bright so I had to dye it twice and I decided to dye both sides because you know it's not my hair so why not also a thing about my hair it turned cop copper 
Like, you guys remember, like, two weeks ago, my hair was literally, like, the color of this wig. Like, it was, like, a dark burgundy. And then I guess with all the heat, and then my mom said with all the, like, washing of my hair that I do, um, it just turned like this light copper color. So that's good to know because that means that I will not be dyeing my entire head this color or with this hair dye because I don't want my entire head to turn this light color. Like the whole reason I was gonna think about dyeing it the red was because it was gonna come out dark, but this is borderline like light brown and I don't like my hair light brown. I'm fine with my streak being like this, but I'm not gonna dye my entire head this color. I was struggling a bit last night, mainly with cutting the ear tabs and stuff like that. Like, just little things that I did not think would be a pain in my ass. It literally took me an hour to figure out how to cut off the ear tabs of my wig. Because it's like a frontal, so it like comes down lower. Yeah, it's currently, what time is it? Please don't be, oh my god. It's 9.39, my class is at 11, so I want to get, you know, well I need to get this wig installed before that so that I could go to class and then after school today I have to go right into Manhattan to meet with my management like in person so I'm looking forward to that but yeah I just need to get this wig on and it needs to look presentable because I have to appear in public all right I'm gonna get back to you guys when I'm like actually like putting it on or maybe when I'm halfway done because I feel like I'm gonna get distracted and I'm kind of like in a time crunch and I'm going to continue watching some Dub Family. Duffel bag filled to the T. When I look at what I see, I could truly say that's all me. Pack my things up, make some pit stops. Catch me in the hilltops on the side of the country. Came back from being down 1-3 We the 16 Cavaliers, whole team hungry Keep the family roots like we came from one tree One branch, one leaf Had to embark on this voyage Double parked in the Taurus Thank the ones before us to let us peep This was for us Turn poor us into poor up Nas, Bellinis, and three letters what they call us She in bikinis, I make it rain in her for us Tropical forecast where the water be the purest Can't get back time watching your wrist They no risk all that music brought us and it taught us Spread it to your sons and daughters Cause my hey. Duffel bag filled to the T When I look at what I see I could truly say that saw me Pack my things up, make some pit stops Catch me in the hilltops on the side of the country Came back from being down 1-3 We the 16 Cavaliers, whole team hungry Keep the family roots like we came from one tree One branch, one leaf And we don't never compete Yeah, the rose is bumpy Sipping bubbly, now we living comfy I be chilling with my son, watching Teletubbies Got a fine black woman and she called me hubby I feel sorry for the woman who had tried to dub me Now they wonder how my life turned out, come see I pay my bills monthly And I don't never rush things, it's just Me and my brother and we stay hungry Now we travel in the countries which is very humbling Cause coming from where we from, we done seen the ugly Used to rock rugby, yeah Late night trooping, we would go to Stumpy's And cop fried dumplings, ice up Ice up, ice up it's been a little while, a lot of a while, and I'm still in a hurry. I'm probably going to be a little bit late, but yeah, I'm just trying to make it look less, I don't know, less wiggy, like, like, you know, like I look at other people's wigs and they make it look like, just like scalp and I want that effect, but I think like the way I sprayed my lace down is making it look like white and I think that's affecting it but I think that's why it's good that I didn't glue it down because I just used the spray so I could just take it off with water and then like reapply it another day not today we're gonna have to work with this today and when in doubt hopefully it's cold enough and I'll just wear a hat but yeah I'm trying to make it look less wiggy and I think I guess I need to do I need to cut some edges this is always my issue like you see that little like white patch there like, I feel like this side, mm, no, that's not. Like, I, ugh. I don't know if it's like the fact that there's no makeup on my face or if it just looks, 
I don't know. I never know how to do this. Uh, I feel like I low-key should have just paid to get it installed. That way, like, I could see how they do it. But I don't know. We're going to, we're still going to try to work with this. I'm going to put some concealer in my part right now. But we're not going to give up. This is going to work. Like, it's going to work out. I think this concealer might be a little too light, and I'm kind of scared, but it's kind of growing on me. I think I did my edges, I cut some layers, and I feel like looking at myself in a close-up mirror makes me feel worse, but when I looked at myself in a faraway mirror, it didn't look too shabby. So my theory is that, you know, no one's going to be so close to me where they're going to see the, like, imperfections. So for now, we're good. And I'm literally rushing. I need to leave the house in five minutes. I'm probably going to come back because I have like a little bit of time before I have to go meet my management. So I'll probably come back and like fix it up a little bit. This literally took, I got up at 8 a.m. guys. I got up at 8 a.m. and it is currently like about to be tw one. It's about to be one. It is literally about to be one. You know, first time for everything. My first time doing my own box braids, it literally took four days. And now it only takes me two. So hopefully with time, and now that I feel like I kind of got a little bit of the hang of like the certain things you have to do, hopefully it won't take this long like every single time. Hola amigos, I'm back from school. I'm about to eat. Luckily I have some leftovers from last night. My mom made pasta and salmon. So I'm gonna eat this and then I have like 30 minutes until I need to leave the house because my meeting is in Manhattan But it's like a little bit. It's like me packing district Which takes me like more like an hour to get there rather than like Soho which normally takes me like 30 ish 40 minutes I'm gonna eat this. It was so good last night. So I'm excited for that I also think I need to clear the dishwasher, but I made it to class literally exactly at 1250 which is when my class is supposed to be and I felt so so bad because I actually met one of you guys I met a subscriber like on my way to class and normally I like to like stop and like converse of course and like get to know you but I had three minutes left and if it was any other class I probably would have like taken more time but this teacher guys she's literally like a tyrant and I you know everybody has their own teaching styles but I just really don't vibe with like the whole tyrant like we have a midterm coming up so I, I definitely had to be there on time to do the we had our midterm review this class she took up like 15 minutes of the review explaining to us that when we enter we have to put our phones in our bags silence them if someone's phone makes a sound she's taking points off of your test like what if an amber alert goes off? I can't control amber alerts. She was like, if you go to the bathroom, you have to show her your phone and then put it on your desk so she could watch it to make sure you're not taking it with you. And if you have an Apple Watch, you have to show her your Apple Watch and put it on the desk so she can watch it. And again, everybody has different teaching styles. I just don't really like resonate. Like I started like tuning out because I just feel like I'm 20 years old and I feel like I'm being treated like a 10 year old you know and it feels like kind of like condescending like the amount of times that she's like show me your phone it, it just it gets really 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 annoying and it really frustrates me but yeah she's very very strict and she's very rule oriented so I did not want to be a fraction late because if you're late then she like sh you can't sign in and you can't do your attendance so yeah she really <laughs> stresses me out she seems like a very nice woman like i'm not saying she's like this evil person but i think her teaching style is very much like rule oriented like teaching to the test like even the way she was describing the review sheet she was like it needs to be this word for word and i personally like i don't like learning just to a test like i like learning like real world stuff or like practical lucy please stop i just fed you she keeps jumping up and i'm like i just fed you anyways if you were the person the girl that i had to rush away from i'm very very sorry my teacher scares me so i had to i had to run oh i also wanted to mention so the girl that i met and i feel so bad that i completely like spaced on her name but again like i was my brain was very much like flustered and i'm also like bad with names in general so i'm sorry if you're watching this and i'm just i just comment your name 
share, share it with the world because I'm sorry that I didn't remember it. But she complimented my hair. And you guys just saw the trials and tribulations that I went through for literally 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 4 hours of doing my hair this morning to try to like get it correct. And I feel like the fact that these cats are doing the most. I feel like the fact that the first interaction of the day that I had was somebody complimenting my hair really made me feel a lot better. I didn't mention it this morning because I think I was just like too, I don't know. I don't know, but I like missed my first class today. It's not necessarily like a big deal because it was the anthropology one. So it's the one where, you know, everybody gets an A, but I don't want to like take advantage of that because I really do respect that teacher. Like I respect her a lot and she's really nice and I really like that class. Like the material that we learned in that class is so good. So I felt so bad missing it, but like, you know, I was struggling with this wig and by that point it was already halfway on my head. So I was like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I was just like, I'm just gonna have to miss it. But I feel like I've been like fumbling a lot of stuff, especially this week, cause it's like kind of like midterm week. So I have a lot of projects and like assignments that are kind of like piling up. And then on top of that, like I have my like YouTube work, like influencer work and stuff, and then my personal life. And it's just like adding on. And I feel like I've been sacrificing school a little bit, which really stresses me out because I don't know why I have this. I'm the only person that puts the pressure on me to do really well in school like it's not like like yeah my mom wants me to do well in school because like that's what she expects of me because I've always pretty much done well in school but like I think I put more pressure on myself than anybody else does and I'm like if I don't get an A if I get anything below an A I I know I'll be so disappointed in myself and I don't know I feel like like some of the assignments that I've been handing in lately like aren't my best work and it's stressing me out but it's just like i don't know like i've just i've just been feeling overwhelmed like there's a lot going on so maybe i just need better time management but yeah i don't know i think it's been like this running competition with myself that like till the end of high school i've always said like i wanted to graduate college with a 4.0 gpa like that was like my thing and i feel like if i don't do that i'll feel like a failure which is like it's not gonna be a failure because like i'm still gonna get like good grades you know but I think I've just like put the pressure on myself to like get perfect grades. So it's like over stressing me because yeah. Girl, you better not puke because that will send me over the edge. Over the edge. Duffel bag filled to the T. When I look at what I see, I can truly say that's all me. Pack my things up, make some piss stops. Catch me in the hilltops on the side of the country. Came back from being down 1-3 We the 16 Cavaliers, whole team's hungry Keep the family roots like we came from one tree One branch, one leaf I may have eaten way too fast because I'm feeling a little queasy But we have no time to feel queasy I got these new shoes, guys I think it came in the mail this morning I ordered these like two weeks ago from Flight Club new balances because I was thinking about like what new shoes I wanted to get and it was between more Yeezy 500s that I already have. I think I mentioned that the Yeezys that I have currently are a little bit too small because they're a kid size so I wanted to get them in an adult size because I really like them as a winter shoe. I decided to get new balances and these are the M202Rs. I'll put the links down below. They were like the same price as the Yeezys. Um, but this is how they look. I thought they were pretty cool. They looked cool on the website. And I know these are kind of like popular right now. This style of New Balance. And I've never owned a New Balance. So I think maybe I'll try these on today. Like I'll try to wear these. Because I think it will go with this outfit. Um, yeah. Here they are. I think they're super cute. I have to see them on feet and then that'll be like my perfect judge. I need like 20 hours of rest and relaxation. Like just like like 20 hours where like my brain doesn't have to do anything. It's not even like I have a hard life, guys. I guess it's just like, you know, it's what you can handle. And I think I'm like getting pushed over the edge. Like I'm always late. Like always, always late. And I'm like, never have I like, well, not recently. Have I been able to just like leisurely like walk to something? I'm always like sprinting to something because I'm late because it's just like everything's like piling up. But I think I'll, 
I think I'm still making good time. I literally have to leave like right now. I'm just gonna put on these shoes and put on the same outfit. I don't even think I'm gonna fix my hair. Ugh. If these shoes don't fit, then I don't, oh, they fit. This is how they look on feet. Don't mind my ugly, I'm wearing ugly socks today, but I think they look really cute. Um, And they don't feel small or anything. So hopefully that's all good. I don't know. I, I have to decide that off camera though because I'm out of time. I'm gonna cry. I only hit you when I want some. Fucked up till you realize all I wanted was you. You only hit me when you fucked up. Love drunk cause you realize all I wanted was you. I only hit you when I want some. Fucked up till you realize all I wanted was you. You only hit me when you fucked up. Love drunk, cause you realize all I wanted was you I be like, baby, don't do that You press my buttons, you know better Depend on where my mood at What's so fucked up, I just might let her We done weather, plenty weather It's whatever with me though Cause I know somebody gon' love me And won't never let me go Think it's better that we grow With each other on my mother What you do under them covers It be better than these hoes And I ain't saying that I'm perfect, baby girl Cause you know me But everything I say I do And everything I do low key Why you flexing for them photos And them niggas in your tweets he that nigga on the ground, but I'm that nigga in these streets Just remember that I got your fuck, you proper feed your soul Girl, you hear me like a doctor, but you probably don't know All that time we spend debating, hating, bickering and shit Got me breaking extra swishes, mixing liquor with that shit So I talk like I don't need you, but you know that that ain't true Cause everything I want, I'm getting, all I really want is you I only hit you when I want